Jeff Thai to speak to us. Thank you, Premier. Thank you. Thanks very much, Peter. I'd like to firstly acknowledge the traditional custodians of this land and pay my respects to Elders past and present. I'd like to acknowledge Councillor Sharon Ellis, uh, Mayor of the City of Whitehorse and other councillors from Whitehorse, David Hodgett, the Acting Minister of Public Transport, and most importantly, I'd like to acknowledge Dee Ryle, a member for Mitcham. Dee Ryle has been the driving force behind this development and this station, and uh, this is very much a tribute to her hard work. I'd also like to acknowledge Michael Sukar, the member for Deakin, Andrew Lozala, CEO of Metro, Peter Todd, acting Chief Executive Vic Roads, and special mention to Stephen Lettery, the General Manager of the Mitchum and Rook Roads Alliance. They've done a fantastic job. And Wayne Lewis, the National Operation Manager from John Holland. And the team working on this project have done a terrific job under challenging conditions in record time. And they deserve a big round of applause for the people who've worked on this project. Now, we all know tomorrow is Australia Day. And I can't think of a better Australia Day present for the people of Mitcham than a fantastic new station. So this is your 2014 Australia Day present, a new station for Mitcham and the people who use it. It is a new premium station. It is an upgraded station and it's a part of a project that not only benefits rail commuters but also road users because it, it involves behind me the removal of what was a congestion uh, nightmare, the Mitcham Road level crossing and further down the Rooks Road level crossing. And the removal of these level crossings does two things. It firstly saves lives. There have been accidents and incidents and life-threatening incidents on those level crossings. So removing of those level crossings will save lives into the future. It will also significantly reduce congestion. And we know that 200 trains per day use this uh, line going to Belgrave and Lilydale. And indeed, the gates on the Mitcham and Rooks Road used to be closed 45% of the time in peak hours. That means for nearly 40, 54 minutes in every two hour peak period, there was the gates closed and causing congestion and causing frustration. With 16,000 vehicles a day using Mitcham's Road and nearly 10,000 vehicles a day using Rooks Road. So that's why the government has invested $197 million, nearly $200 million in removing those level crossings in upgrading the station and improving services. And when we talk about the upgraded station, this is a premium station. So it'll be staffed, fully staffed, from the very first train in the morning to the last train at night. And in the evening, it'll have the PSOs on the station, making it safe for everybody and patrolling the car parks. It will have 800 car parks on the station site. It will have improved bus interchanges on the south and the north, it will have improved taxi uh, drop-off points, improved drop-off points for kiss and ride or for the uh, drop-off for commuters, it will have improved bicycle uh, safety in terms of a parketeer and of course a new bicycle and pedestrian pathway between here and Rooks Road. So it is a really terrific situation. This is a win-win for commuters and for uh, car drivers. It is also DDA compliant with all the ramps for strollers, for people with disabilities. And behind us here, or just over here, there is the black box where lifts are being installed. And, that, yeah. and that's because D Ryle has had community consultation and identified while this station was being upgraded and while it was going to be DDA compliant, the local community said that we needed to have lifts as well. So we're retrofitting those lifts and they'll be installed and open later this year. And uh, 
So this is a terrific outcome for the whole community. The other thing I can just say is what we've fundamentally done is taken the hill off here so it is actually better for the metro trains. It'll make them more efficient, it'll make them uh, more reliable, more punctual. So this is a really terrific outcome for everybody. And can I conclude by congratulating everybody involved, Vic Roads, PTV, Metro Trains, and particularly the workers who worked in uh, terrific uh, challenging conditions from John Holland and KBR. And finally, can I once again say what a fantastic job D Ryle has done as your local member fighting for this service and this improvements for Mitcham. And uh, it is my pleasure to be involved here. And we'll, after a couple more speakers, we'll do the official opening. But again, congratulations to all involved. This is a great Australian Day present for Mitcham, a new premium station and removal of two dangerous level crossings. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.